Bonjour and welcome to your daily message One Card Pool. Claude here. Today I'm going to be using uh, one of my favorite oracle decks actually. It's Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen D. Farmer. I have placed a link in the description box below if you're interested in acquiring it for yourselves. Now please remember this is a general read so just take what resonates but this is meant to find you when you need to hear it the most. So it's some guidance or something that you know, your spirit team wants you to ponder upon. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So we have the panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. And this is the artwork. So obviously you may see uh, pictures of pandas during your day and obviously that will be a synchronicity. Let me grab the booklet so I can give you more information. A sacred space is an area in your home or workplace where you can have some privacy for contemplation, meditation or simply a bit of quiet time to think. If this isn't possible to do at work, it becomes even more imperative that you provide this for yourself in your home. This is a space that is your territory, whether it is an entire room or a corner of your living room or bedroom. Place a cozy chair or pillow there and then set up a simple altar, one that contains a few pieces that are both personal and precious. Include a candle in your space that you can light when you're abiding there. Make your sacred space a comfortable place to hang out, with no agenda or compulsion to do anything. As Buddha said, don't just do something, sit there. You may find all sorts of reasons or excuses not to do this, but don't cave in to these internal objections. Make it important enough for your emotional and mental health and balance to create this kind of private spiritual sanctuary. Be sure to do nothing in particular for a good period of the time you, while you're there. The increasingly rapid pace of life and growing intensities in the world are even greater cause for doing so. Sorry, are even greater cause for doing so. It's a place for solace, one where you can more closely listen to your inner voice and feelings and tap into the life force inside that's expressing itself as you. So I hope you've enjoyed your daily message. I wish you a lovely day and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.